Hello there, my name is Musa the Giant from Deben, South Africa. In this video, I would like to show you how to stake different cryptocurrencies on PancakeSwap. Now, before you watch this video, it might be a good idea for you to first watch these three videos. This one here, where I show you how to do a basic research and this one, how to correctly and safely set up your MetaMask. And this one, how to fund your MetaMask with BNB if you want to stake on the PancakeSwap exchange. Now, before we get to the meat and potatoes of this tutorial, please understand that I am not a financial advisor. All cryptocurrency investments are risky. Do not buy stake or yield farm without doing your own research all right so before we get uh, into the practical part of this tutorial it's important for us to just understand the basics as to what is staking and how it works just at a basic level well staking is a way of earning rewards for holding certain cryptocurrencies if a cryptocurrency you own allows staking you can actually stake some of your holdings and earn an APR which stands for annual percentage rate or APY which stands for annual percentage yield reward over time staking often requires a lockup or vesting period where your crypto can't be transferred for a certain period of time in other words some cryptos when you stake them you will be told that you will only be able to withdraw them after a certain period of time maybe after seven days in other words you would uh, request a withdrawal after unstaking it then there will be a vesting time or a vesting period of uh, maybe two days three days seven days 14 days and so on and so forth but some do not even have a vesting period staking is a way of making your crypto assets work for you by generating rewards rather than collecting dust in your crypto wallet in other words uh, if you're just holding your crypto assets in your crypto wallet without staking them uh you are not going to benefit that much but when you stake them you earn even more rewards and make even more profit so staking has the added benefit of contributing to the security and efficiency of the blockchain project you support and lastly by staking some of your funds you make the blockchain more resistant to attacks and strengthen its ability to process transactions. So these are just uh, some things that you need to know about staking, the benefits of staking before you can stake any crypto asset. Now, below this video, I have some very useful articles that are going to teach you even more about staking. What is staking? How does it work? Pancake swap how does it work and so on and so forth so you might as well want to check those uh, articles below this video to learn more about staking yield farming and so on and so forth so for now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this presentation uh, which is how to stake cake in this case okay so right now i am on coingecko.com which is a platform that you can use to research cryptocurrencies before you can buy and stake them, those that are stakeable. So in this exercise, we are going to stake cake. So let's just search for cake, which is the token for the pancake uh, exchange. And then once you find the cryptocurrency that you want to stake, in this case, it's going to be pancake swap. And then you just go down and click on markets. And then you want to go to the platform that allows you to stake this particular cryptocurrency. Okay, now before we can uh, stake cake, what we're going to have to do is to buy some cake that we're going to be staking. So let's just click on cake slash 
WBNB so that we're going to be redirected to the pancake swap exchange so that we can exchange some BNB for pancake swap right so we have some BNB now we need to buy some cake right search for cake here it is selected let's just buy uh, five cakes for this exercise swap confirm confirm the transaction and now it's confirmed so now we have five cake so how do we go about staking it it's very easy you just go to earn and then go to pools and then you're gonna see a list of available staking um, options first one you can stake cake and an automatic rewards or an rewards automatically let's just take a look at what is the apy like all right so as you can see if you decide to um, auto stake cake the apy is currently 77.4 percent um if you go and uh, look at the manual stake the a apr is currently 58.23 percent now these numbers changes all the time depending on how many people are staking that particular cryptocurrency that you want to stake right then if you scroll down a bit you can see some even more options whereby you can stake cake to earn this cryptocurrency you can stake cake to earn this cryptocurrency and so on and so forth but for our example what we're going to be doing is we're going to be staking cake to earn more cake right so how do we do that just click the details button and uh if you are staking cake for the first time you need to enable there will be the the enable button here just click on enable and confirm but in my case i have done it before so now i have enabled this uh, staking pool i can just click on stake and then now since i have five cake tokens how many of these i want to stake you can say i want to stake 25 percent of these 50 percent 75 percent or maximum or you can even be more specific and maybe say i want to stake one and a half depending on how many cake tokens you have and how many you want to stake but for this exercise i want to stake all my cake right so it's currently worth about 96 dollars so i just click on maximum and then click on confirm confirm the transaction on metamask all right now as you can see staked your funds have been staked in the pool if i wanted to add more at a later time i will buy, i can buy more cake and then click the plus button here and then stake more cake but as you can see uh, my, the balance in my cake wallet is empty because I just staked uh, all my five cake tokens that I had right if I wanted to unstake it I can just click the minus button here and then indicate how much of it I want to stake and then I can just uh, confirm but it's important to read this information here before you unstake even before you stake you need to read and understand what are they saying here so in a nutshell that is how you can stake cake in this case to earn more cake right now in the future tutorials we will go to farms and learn how to farm whereby you can uh, stake two cryptocurrencies and then get what is known as lp or liquidity pools tokens and then you can then stake those LPs. But for this video tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to do a single staking whereby you stake just one cryptocurrency, either to end the same cryptocurrency. In this example, we staked some cake to end more cake. And this is an automatic restaking. So in other words, once I have started to end some uh, cake, it will uh, automatically restake so that as you can see i've already started to earn some cake so it will automatically be added to this balance here i don't have to manually uh restake it all right but if you want to do things manually you can choose this one the one that says manual cake whereby you'll be staking cake to earn more cake and then you can manually restake it um, you might also want to buy some cake and then stake it to earn a different cryptocurrency just like these examples here all right 
So I hope this tutorial has been informative and I hope that you now have a better understanding on how to go about staking cryptocurrencies on the PancakeSwap platform. My name is Musa the Giant from Deben, South Africa. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss future tutorial videos. And thank you for your time. Let's get this crypto. Bye for now.